If you need any Xbox or PlayStation codes or anything gaming related, check the referral links down in the description. They'll take you to G2A.com. They already have a discount on most of their goods already. And with the code CHES at checkout, you can get yourself an extra 3% off as well. Hey guys, how's it going? Chez back again and welcome to episode number two of the Youth Squad Challenge. This is of course the series that started earlier on today where we met the teams. If you missed that episode then there'll be a link to it in the bottom left hand side of your screen or obviously feel free to check my channel page for it and obviously in the link or in the description down below will be links to MGH and Chani Sports' channel so if you want to check out their debut video or of course their episode number two as well where all three of us are, uh, are double uploading today and then obviously we'll continue on uh, Wednesday and Friday and obviously into next week as well but uh, we're starting with the first league games in today's episode we all three of us have uh, effectively simulated and uh, not played all the way through to the first league game. We won our first game, or first friendly, then we lost the third friendly, then we won the third. Uh, obviously, all three of us are uh, going into that league game in the League uh, Capital One Cup, in the League Cup, and uh, we're quitting out of it. So we all lose 3 0, so we're all out in uh, the first round. That doesn't affect our job status either of the border. You know, they say don't let it happen again, but it's fine. We'll uh, be able to continue on, and we'll do the same when we get to the FA Cup first round as well. So we're playing all the games or simulating all but one of the games in August and September. Uh, because there's uh, less games in August and uh, obviously there is a full month in September, ordinarily we'll be doing two games of video, but just to kind of ease you into the series, uh, there'll be one game in today's uh, first gameplay video and then obviously on Wednesday and Friday and so on there will be two so the first game in the uh, in the league was at home against Middlesbrough now I didn't want to play the initial game I wanted to see how we got on in the first couple before I decided which game it was that I wanted to play because obviously it's going to be quite tactical between uh, all three of us which games we choose to play and which ones we choose to uh, let the uh, computer simulate fortunately though our first game here as you can see our wild card gets the first goal of the series as a whole after 12 minutes, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain gives us a 1-0 lead. Then Lucas Romero pops up with a second in the 34th. And we do get a third, thanks to Sergi Dada, coming off the bench in the second half. To give us a 3-0 victory in the first game at home against Middlesbrough. Couldn't have asked for a better start, really, could we, to the series. Uh, I won't have a squad report in this episode, but at the beginning of every future episode, I'll have a squad report so you can see how my squad are growing. And then we'll push through with uh, the rest of the games in each episode from that moment forward. But the second game here playing with my quote-unquote rotation side obviously we have uh, two players available in each position and I've got just two two team seats where I can switch between uh, a first team and a second team we take the lead after uh, 18 minutes thanks to a penalty from Taliso but they get one back through Martin in the 49th minute only 20 minutes left to go hoping that uh, Martial coming off the bench could get us a winner but with less than five minutes to go it doesn't look like one's going to come and in fact it doesn't so four points from our opening two games would have liked uh, two wins from two unfortunately we weren't able to do so so I decided to jump into the third game and actually play it myself this will be the one game in today's episode to help ease you into the series and then obviously like I say from Wednesday's episode onwards then we will have three video uh, two games per video and we'll push forward with that but starting the stronger side here the quote-unquote first team Anthony Martial up top with Oxlade Chamberlain on the right our wild card with Joaquin Correa on the left hand side so very strong front three to be fair all three of us have really really strong sides so it's going to be very very intriguing to see who does uh, the best in this series obviously like we said in the uh, introduction video the winner gets or the winner is whoever finishes highest at the end of the season in the league and obviously they get then a bonus wild card potentially for a second series top goal scorer will get a bonus wild card as well and also most overall squad growth will get a bonus wild card for a second series as well our first chance came there early on actually but it was well blocked by Rodolfo Austin we're going to take the corner though uh, Ruben Neves is actually going to take it I was just having a look through to see who has uh, decent set piece stats and uh, it looks like Ruben Neves has the best Eric Dyer can take a good free kick apparently but he was actually on the end of the uh, of the corner there having the header that was tipped well over the top of the bye by over the top of the bar by Silvestri but Leeds came up the other end and they're going to have themselves a couple of glorious opportunities and how they haven't taken the lead there I do not know hitting the post twice especially the second effort I don't know how he's not been able to put that in the back of the net I think we're going to take a, a turn for the worse here for Leeds they get 
a bit loose with possession there and Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is able to jump in and then Charlie Taylor just destroys Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain from behind it's a straight red card as you can see as you can see in the top left hand corner the little symbol comes up before the referee brandishes his card and you'll see from the replay if he'd have dived with his right leg he might have got to the ball first but he committed with his left as you'll see just here and goes through Chamberlain and then the ball is obviously knocked past because he's gone through Chamberlain's both, both Chamberlain's legs to uh, get to the ball so it was a clear red card and that really helped us out to be completely honest these have been very competitive we are playing on legendary as well key to point out i don't think i've mentioned that to this point but uh, we are actually playing on legendary all three of us now stereotypically on my series i tend to play on world class so it is going to be a real test for me to do well here in the games that i actually play but we got off to a good start in the second half 15 minutes in he's sebastian cristoforo the player that uh, a couple of the other two guys, Chani and MGH, hadn't really heard of. And I only really knew of Cristoforo thanks to uh, Football Manager. But he scores a very good effort there to give us a 1-0 lead in the 60th minute. You see it goes towards the goalkeeper and then just bends away from him as it gets just in front of him. Just to make sure it goes into that bottom corner. Delighted to take a 1-0 lead. Not the best of first touches there from Joaquin Correa. But he is going to get it inside at the second attempt to uh, Lucas Romero. Good shot well saved and I don't know how Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain hasn't put that into the back of an empty net I really don't made a change though on the left hand side with uh, Joaquin Correa going off and Timo Werner coming on obviously the player that we know well from the career mode Road to Glory series where uh, we've brought him in at Cambridge and he's been doing very well for me in that series hoping that he can have an impact here off the bench but actually Leeds are going to have the ball around the edge of the box but then Tolisso gets in he came on during the half as well for uh, for Ruben Neves Setting Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain away down the right-hand side. I'm always going to do this in that position. That is the only option I had there with the defender closing me down. The angle not really uh, offering itself too much towards a positive chance of scoring. And when you've got Anthony Marshall just waiting for the ball in the middle, you just have to. They come close, though, to getting one back there in the 87th minute. And then have a look. When the corner comes in, or when we're setting up for the corner, the goalkeepers come up for it in the 87th minute. But as, I'm about, as they're about to take it, he decides, no, I don't want to be in the box, and starts to jockey away. The ball does drop to him, though, on the edge, and then they play it back in towards the area. But Timo Werner jumps in, steals it off them. Keeper is going full sprint back towards his goal now, almost running faster than Timo Werner can with his 90-plus pace. Nice turn inside so much space on the far side for Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain good save though by Silvestro but unfortunately for Leeds it drops straight to Timo Werner again a little bit fortunate with the way that uh, we were able to get that third goal but a solid 3-0 victory in our first actual played game of the series so far that gives us seven points from our opening three games in the championship season to this point so we're having a very very good start it's to be expected though to be fair all three of us are have strong sides that should do well in the championship that was kind of why we chose the championship to be where we started out with this under 20 side because obviously the players are going to be kind of mid to low 70s like 74 to 72 71 and obviously that is kind of upper championship level so uh, we want to have a successful season and obviously an entertaining season as well so that's why we are in the championship with Wolves and uh, as you can see Cardiff 2-1 up here as we head towards the last 20 minutes or so Kevin Doyle has given them the lead after uh, Correa pulled one back for us but Sergi Dada comes off the bench to score his second goal of the season to give us a point away from home against Cardiff which is not a bad result Cardiff are a very very good side especially at this level Brentford however have had a decent uh, season so far they lost to Luton in the cup but other than that they're uh, up and about the playoffs in the league at this point obviously I'll show you the league table at the end of the episode so you can see how we're getting on uh, all told for this first episode Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain gets himself booked after 13 minutes and then uh, we are going to take the league through Anthony Martial in the 39th minute which is brilliant and then unfortunately Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain is going to pick himself up a second yellow card there in the 58th we're down to 10 but Joaquin Correa pops up with a second goal in the 67th minute and with 10 men we are going to be able to pick up a 2-0 victory against Brentford so a little bit lucky perhaps to have come away with all three points but we will definitely take it especially against the side that were up in the upper reaches of the table as well causing us uh, some problems so uh, delighted to get a 2-0 victory there to be completely honest we then travel away to Wolves playing my uh, rotation side here with Iosi Perez up top who to this point hasn't scored yet for me in uh, this particular series so I'm hoping that he can start putting the ball into the back of the net soon because Iosi Perez has done very well for me uh, not Iosi Perez, he is Iosi Perez. Uh, Anthony Martial has done very well for us so far scoring goals. Tolisso picks one up here as well but Hamill equalises. Matt Derbyshire makes it 2-1 to Rotherham and it looks like as we head into the last 10 minutes and confirmed 
That's our first defeat of the season away from home against Rotherham at the New York Stadium. So uh, I really wanted to bounce back from that, to be completely honest. We're playing Birmingham again. We actually played Birmingham in the Cup, although obviously I quit out so that we got a 3-0 defeat. So we're solely concentrating on uh, league football and hoping with my stronger side now to get a victory in this one to bounce back from that Rotherham defeat. Starting Martial obviously up top with Oxley, Chamberlain and Correa either side of him. A couple of yellow cards aside, then Anthony, Mar Anthony Martial does give us the lead after 29 minutes minutes then uh, as you can see we head into the second half Clayton Donaldson equalizes but as we head towards the final few moments with 20 minutes to go now they're going to pick themselves up a yellow card in the 80th minute and who's going to pop up to save the day in the 88th minute our wild card Alex Oxlade Chamberlain makes it Wolverhampton Wanderers 2 Birmingham City 1 to give us three points so we head away from home again we've not performed too well away from home so far obviously the defeat against Rotherham the draw against Millwall but we would like to get a victory here against Fulham if we can again with the rotation side this time Ross McCormack gives them the lead after 12 minutes as we head towards half time we looked as if we were going to actually be struggling to get something out of this game they made a change at half time taking off Taggart and bringing on Hugo Rodriguez, obviously formerly of Wigan a decent striker then Ross McCormack picks up his second and gets himself a brace a couple of yellow cards for them but no sign of anyone getting a second and also no sign of us picking up a goal or two to get ourselves back in it so that's our second defeat of the season and this is how the league looks after eight games we are fifth in the table so we're doing okay but obviously we lost to Rotherham who are in the relegation zone which is really disappointing Fulham are 13th so the two sides we lost to are probably the two weaker sides that we've played but with four wins two draws and two defeats after the opening eight games we sit on 14 points and fifth in the table solidly in the playoffs and four points behind the two league leaders Norwich City and Watford Norwich as you can see confirmation that they are undefeated so far the only team to do so after eight games five wins and three draws for them so it's going to be interesting to see how we get on in Wednesday's episode like I say we'll start with a squad report so that you can see how everybody's growing to this point and then we'll work our way through uh, October and November we're doing like I say two months uh, per episode and playing a game per calendar month so from now on out it will be two games per episode and uh, obviously the simulated full 90 minutes of the others as per the rules. You can find a gatso of the rules in the description down below if you want to check them out in detail for yourself. Obviously, drop the video a like if you enjoyed and definitely check out Chani and MZH's channels. Links will be in the description so you can see how well they got on. I'm actually, we're not telling each other how we're getting on as we go through the series. So I'm going to have to uh, head over to each of their channels myself now to find out how they're getting on as well. So hopefully you're going to join me over on their channels as well and we can see how they're getting on. But that's going to bring my second episode to a close. I will be streaming later on tonight over on uh, twitch.tv forward slash Chesnoy Gaming. Links in the description to uh, to join me over there if you want to. But uh, like, I, like I said earlier on, this will be replacing the Career Mode Road to Glory episode tonight. But from here on out, no other uh, normal uploads on my channel will be affected. This series is going to go up at 6 p.m. on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays. And it should take us about two weeks to get through the, seri uh, through the season. So hopefully you are enjoying to this point. If you are, drop the video a like rating, subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you next time.